Okay, I have just eaten lunch and I just realized that maybe I need to touch up my makeup a little bit. Hold. Hello, here we are sitting on the floor again. <laughs> Ignore that plastic bag right there. Gee whiz. Welcome back to the party, kitty cats. All I want to do today is share my monthly favorites with you. These are my favorites from the month of May. These are my favorite things that I've used this month. First thing that I have been touching my face up with is my Anastasia banana powder. It makes you look so good. Even if you've made like mistakes or you've gone maybe too hard with the bronzer like I've been doing. <laughs> Cause it's been getting warmer and I'm like, I'm tan, right? It's got like a fluffier texture. I don't know if you can see that. It sort of clumps together. The texture of it is a little bit lighter, a little bit fluffier. Any sort of choppiness or patchiness that you have with any makeup on your face, you just dip into this and it just kind of erases it. it just kind of buffs all my problems away. I don't know. I've just really been liking it. It's slightly yellow tinted. It's very bright without being like shockingly white. And I've been using it with this brush. You can tell this brush is dirty. And this brush maybe has ruined me for other brushes. I'm looking forward to the day when I can get this complete set of brushes, but this is from a brand called Vive. This is Jamie Genevieve's brand. This brush I got together with her pressed face powder. Came in a set. You can also buy it by itself. But this is so soft and it is the right size. As soon as I used it, I went, oh no. Oh no. I feel like brushes are like your artist tools, you know? So invest in them however you feel comfortable, but this brush really got me. As many fluffy powder brushes as I have, I just feel like I want to keep using this one. The shape is right, this kind of fluffy dome. The size is right. You can get right in here under your eyes. You can touch up like I just did. <laughs> Look, it's just really chic looking. It's very beautiful and I love it. And it's the number one, two, three brush, the Precision Powder Brush. Next, another thing from Anastasia that I find works incredibly with the powder because sometimes I go a little ham with the powder is this dewy set setting mist first of all this bottle the glamour the glitz the glitter and the showgirl of it all I don't want to spray it right now because it's gonna make me dewy okay I'll do it it has a really soft sweet scent very 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 soft it has a lovely mist to it oh i do i have some i have some glow on my decolletage it works incredibly well these two together so brava anastasia brava next favorite is i'm gonna actually put this on right now because as i said i ate lunch and <laughs> all my lipstick came off okay this is the charlotte tilbury lipstick the K-A-S-S-I-N-G formula, the cream lipstick in Penelope Pink. Well, there's a stamp over it. I think it's Penelope Pink. Uh, you can see it doesn't really look pink at all. Maybe this looks really pink on some people. I love it because it is just this juicy, mm, neutral beige on me. It doesn't look too white. It's just this beautiful just nude and I think it looks very sexy and it looks great with big zazzy eye looks like this. <laughs> I use it with my Mac Stone lip pencil, always a parade, a parade Always a favorite, a perennial favorite is what I was going to say. Next, because it's getting warm and I'm trying to go outside. This is the, ah, uh, nope, ah, uh, can you see this? The Super Goop Resetting Sunscreen Mist refreshing mist. I use this over my makeup. You got to shake it. You got to shake it first. It's SPF 40. Huh? Usually what I will do is finish my makeup with this, put my dewy set on, and then before I go out the door, I mean, you're supposed to put on sunscreen 15 minutes before you have sun exposure. And I really try to remember that. Basically to finish off my makeup, I'll use this. If I remember 
I try to put this on before I put mascara on. Please don't put this on while your mascara is drying. This has a dewy finish as well, really lovely dewy finish, but it will disrupt. If you can remember to put this on before your mascara, I would say do it or just like close your eyes really softly, <laughs> you know, like that. But this is great. This is my sunscreen of choice. It's the super group. Is the super group this is my sunscreen of choice this is the super goop setting spray uh or refreshing mist whatever the hell you want to call it it's sunscreen in a bottle and you spray it on your face all right next yes all right okay i have been on the sophia ritchie wedding makeup train and seen everybody's recreations of the look that patty dubroff makeup artist to the stars did for her on her wedding day and the makeup look is super beautiful. I was thrilled to learn the blush she used was Picante from Nude Sticks and it's just lovely. It's this hot red orange and it blends out beautifully. It makes your cheeks look nice and shiny and sheeny. Not like wet shine but just like plump and gorgeous and it's this beautiful color that'll make you look a little sun flushed. I was very, very happy to be reminded that I had this and happy to pull it out again and start using it. So that's become thick. Okay, so my shot angle probably changed because I literally just ran out of room <laughs> to record. So let's keep it going. This is the concealer that does the right stuff for me. I've been super into this and this is not a color that I would have chosen for myself. It's Light 2N from Bare Minerals. It's their original liquid mineral concealer. This has the most beautiful finish on your skin. This is primarily what I use under my eyes, in the middle of my face to brighten. It has a nice neutral base, so it's not too yellow. It's definitely not peach at all. It's just right. It has a slightly luminous finish, maybe satin. Usually when I pick something online that looks like it would be my skin tone or is like tan, it ends up being super orange on me. This is perfect. These are the two mascaras. Do I have them both here? No. I don't know what I do. I thought I brought them both over here, but this MAC Lash Stack with the micro brush, with the teeny tiny brush, and then the Essence Lash Princess. Those are the two mascaras that I have been toggling between. I love them. If we're talking about packaging, this beats everybody into the ground. Look at this packaging. It's so chic and cool. It's super, super black. Very thickening. Really makes my lashes very inky. No complaints. No complaints from this. Love you. Well, it's a little expensive. That's where the Essence Lash Princess has it beat because Lash Princess is like $4 and that's like $26. So a little high-low. Okay, I thought my foundation game had got got. I thought it, it, what? I thought it had gotten good because this foundation mixed with this concealer. Ooh, baby. I was like, I found it. My, my dream team, my combo, with my powder, with my dewy set, hello. Uh-uh. When I started putting this foundation on with this brush, shit. I forgot, why did I forget about Sigma brushes? This is the F80 Flat Kabuki brush. I was like, oh, okay, let me get the, I just threw that glass bottle of foundation. This brush, oh my gosh, feels like velvet. Feels like absolute velvet, makes my skin look like velvet. It is the perfect brush to use. This is, I mean, just super, super, super dense, super soft bristles. This is the one. This is the one and I was playing games and I need to make sure to wash it often, but this is great. Okay, she just got it. She loves it. This is the Trixie Cosmetics Extravaganja Palette. She is holographic. She's colorful, she's wonderful, she's colorful inside too. Colorful inside too. This palette, it's just so happy and dreamy and vibrant. I'm wearing uh, a lot of the colors on my eyes today. That's these three, these two blues, this pink. Just, just beautiful. 
this color, what is it called? Props to you in the corners of my eyes right there. I mean, it's just beautiful and fun super like exciting for summer. Is this going to be my summer palettes video? Maybe it might, but this has been a real joy to use this month. And two more makeup items. This, I think I've never heard about this online, but I just happened to be on Besame's website. Their master liner, this red lip liner, they call it universal red. They designed a red lip pencil to be used with any red lip item, lipstick. It's really deep and rich. It's got a lot of brown in it. It's perfect for me. I love how much pencil you get. Like this is a long pencil. This is a long pencil, you guys. I got a couple of these actually because I have a number of red lipsticks. I should put like my favorite red lipsticks in a video and the favorite lip liners that I like to use with them, but this is definitely one of them. I find myself reaching for this all the time. And the pencil itself is just beautiful. It's got like flowers etched in it in gold. Like, you classy, I'm classy. And then last but not least for the makeup, for highlighter, oh my God, I'm not wearing this today, but uh, should, but should I? Ooh, should I? I might put this on. I grabbed the wrong one. No! I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, I have to go get the right one. I have to go get the right highlighter, you guys. This highlighter is so fun. It is so fun, and I'm going to put it on. <sighs> this is from Fenty. I got this because I saw this in pinup palmers i think it was her first makeup tutorial of like her regular pinup look and she used this highlighter and it's called what a brat from fenty and it's pink and i was like whoa like i mean it's it's super pink she is paler than me i mean she's tan but i was like wow that's got a lot of color to it but it looked beautiful on her in her video and i was like okay let me try it out it looks like just pink diamonds on your face. It's so pretty. I have to put some on. I already have this beautiful highlighter on from Daphne Beauty, her highlighter from her blush duo, but I'm gonna put this on on top because, because we're here, we're here for that. Ooh. Come on. Woo-wee. Oh my, look. <laughs> You think I'm playing games in this? I can tell you right now, I'm not. Damn. It looks like just a flush of like pink diamonds on your face. Okay, now, I, now I'm feeling really shiny everywhere else. So let me, let me do my powder. Let me do my banana. Okay. Oh my God. I love putting it just so high on my cheekbones. It just gives you this sort of like super flushed look. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's pretty in person too. It just looks so good. That's what a brat. And you know what? People are going to be like, wow, what a brat. When they see you in that, they're going to be like, uh. Anywho, so... Let's go for a book favorite. The book that has been accompanying me, I'm not done with it yet. I'm really feeling it though, is Beach Read by Emily Henry. This protagonist, she is so angry and she has to deal with such betrayal and hurt and she is a deeply imperfect character and I love her so much. And the romance in it is hot stuff. And I like that too. I'm just really enjoying it. I'm reading a little bit of it every night before bed. And, and it's just been really nice. You can see, I'm taking my time. And last but not least, oh, are these earrings that I'm wearing right now? I got them on Etsy. They're vintage little clip-on hoops, but they just are so fresh and fun and shiny. And they go with everything because they're what? They're clean. They go with everything because they're clear. They look good with my hair up. They look good with it down. They look good with any kind of makeup. If I'm like struggling to figure out what accessories to put with my outfit, um, which is usually sweats. <laughs> if I'm like, I just wanna jazz it up and I'm just feeling like, bleh. They're just, they just 
look like water. They feel like water. It feels like I'm going to the water park. Doesn't it look like I'm going to the water park? Oh my gosh, I haven't been to the water park in so long. Anyway, those are my May favorites. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to any of my videos. I appreciate you so much. I'm so thrilled to have you here. And I'll see you in the next video. Later skaters.